high. This is the lesson for form 3 pupils. The textbook is closed up and then it is unit 9. Topic is high tech world. This is for form 3. Let's look at the learning standard. The main skills, reading 3.1.5. Recognize with support the attitude opinion of the writer in longer simple text on an increased range of familiar topics. Reading 3.1.4 Use independently familiar prints and digital resources to check meaning and extend understanding. Listening 1.1.1 Understand independently the main ideas in simple longer text on an increased range of familiar topics. Speaking 2.3.1 Keep interaction going in longer exchange just by asking a speaker to slow down, speak up or to repeat what they have said. Writing 4.1.1 Explain simple content from what they have read or heard. Let's look at the complementary skill. We have speaking 2.1.4 Explain own point of view. Speaking 2.1.3 Describe further plans and ambitions. Listening 1.1.5 Understand independently more complex questions and writing 4.2.2 Spare written work with moderate accuracy. As the lesson covers uh, four skills listening, speaking, reading, and writing, so we are using a lot of applications. So let's look at applications used for the lesson. So you have first of all, you're using Padlet for writing your notes and add puzzle for video and listening and kahoot for reading comprehension and then flip grid for speaking for the pre-lesson let's look at the question what does this picture show do you know its name so click this link to know the name of this dog okay the link is there so you will know that this dog has a name It's finally happening. I'm about to become a mom to a robot. Sony sent me their new artificially intelligent internet connected puppy dog. Ivo. This fella starts shipping in the US later this year, but he costs a whopping $2,900. I met Ibo twice before, but now I get to take him home to my family for one week and document what it's like to live with a robot pet. And I can't wait to see how my two-year-old daughter reacts to it. I'm here in my New York City apartment. Ibo is in the box. <laughs> Ibo has a camera in his nose and is supposed to recognize different people and objects. His personality is molded by your actions, like when you give him praise by saying good boy or petting it on the sensors on its back and on its head. Over the course of the week, my daughter just fell in love with Ibo. She would share her toys and feed him pretend food. She loved it when Ibo would sing a little robot song, and because she had such a happy reaction, he would randomly sing with her all the time. As for me, as for me, I think Ibo knew I was a sucker for shaking hands. Good boy, good boy. And when he played with his toy bone. Although he didn't always get it on the first try. Like a real puppy, Ibo is not predictable. Sometimes he would randomly go pee pee. Of course, it's all just pretend. In the final version of Ibo, there's this app that helps you teach him new tricks. And you can take photos with the camera in his nose. But the app wasn't ready for me to test.
He is supposed to figure out how to get to his charging station on his own. That only happened a couple of times. So I just put him on the charger at night when I was tired and needed quiet time. And he stayed on his charger base all night. But if you ever made any sound at night, he would wake up, make noise, and his glowing eyes would just look at you in the dark. Now, in the morning, Ivo did not always get off his charger station right away to play, even if we tried to call him. He's supposed to learn the layout of your home over time. There is a camera near his tail that maps location. He often got caught up in nooks and in corners, and I found myself always rescuing him. All right, come on. He didn't leave my living room very much. Maybe learning a home takes more time. The most fun of this test was seeing my daughter's interactions, but I needed to do more research. What do others think of Ivo? All right, so part of this experiment, I'm very curious to see how real dogs act with Ivo. So I came over to my colleague Ayes' place. Hey, Ayes. Hey, hey, Ivo. And Ivo is going to read the story. So what's your thoughts, Ives? I think she went from not being sure what the Ivo was to hating it completely. And then eventually just stopped caring that it was there. So I guess that's progress. Maybe one day she'd accept it if you were a fan waiting. I wanted to take Ivo on a field trip today to get some opinions from senior citizens because what's interesting about this robot is that it can be a companion to the elderly. So let's see what people think. There was something really sweet about our visit to the senior center. People who needed a smile found happiness with Ivo. When I came uh, near, you know, because I had had a rough week this week, and seemed so real, but the I thing was when he put his paws up and touched my face, you know, like, you're going to be okay. <laughs> that there, oh my God, made my day. Of course, not everyone liked the idea of a robot dog. So we're in the computer age, and people are talking to computers instead of people, and now they're going to talk to robot dogs. And that is an expensive dog. Why would I want to talk to an inanimate machine? She's got a point. Why do we easily go gaga over a machine? Every day with Ibo, I found myself compelled to give it love and encouragement. But why did I care what this thing thought of me? It's just an expensive Tamagotchi. And yet, it was a sad moment when we had to pack it up and say goodbye. <laughs> So, it has been a few days since I packed up Ivo, and as I look back, it appears Sony has made some special care for this robot. The new add up everything, the animation of all its moving parts, the algorithms, the AI. It just comes to life in this cute way. Now, even though I'm not a Even though Ivo is quite charming, obviously, this is not for everyone. Last one, what do you think of Ivo? Answer here. So you can post your answer in Padlet. So you can scan the QR code or use the link. So let's look at reading. A. These devices can be used to spy on people. 
what kind of information do you think people doing surveillance could get from these devices? A. A surveillance camera B. A video camera C. A computer D. A mobile phone and E. A tech net Okay, so quickly read the text and write true or false. What does the text tell us about surveillance? 1. We are being watched all the time. It should only be used on criminals. And C. Surveillance equipment can be more effective than people at detecting some things. Now let's look at the devices. Okay, these devices can be used to spy on people. So what kind of information do you think these people doing surveillance could get from these devices? So let's uh, know our devices. Which one do you think is a surveillance camera? So the answer is, okay, this one is a surveillance camera, number one. Number two, video camera. So this is a video camera. Number three, a computer. Number four, a mobile phone. And number five, a set nav. We quickly read the text and write true or false. What does the text tell us about surveillance? Okay, number one, are we being watched all the time? Answer is false. It should only be used on criminals. Answer is false. Surveillance equipment can be more effective than people at detecting some things. Is it correct or false? Answer is true. Okay. Next for reading, read this topic from your textbook which is page 110 and 111. It is also on the slides below. Okay, so let's look at the word focus. Surveillance, it means watching of a person or place. Evidence is reasons for believing that someone is guilty of a crime. Lose consciousness to not be awake because of an injury. Set off is to cause an alarm to make a sound. Okay, now let's look at the text. This is the text from your textbook or the passage from your textbook. In the novel 1984, which was published in 1948, British author George Orwell wrote about a time in the future when it is impossible to hide from surveillance by the government. In the novel, people are always reminded that the government can see them by the phrase Big Brother is watching you. The world that Orwell predicted is already here. Video systems that watch people are now used in many cities around the world. In Paris, France, for example, there are road cameras nearly everywhere to help control traffic and approximately 2,000 cameras on city buses to prevent crime. In Britain, there are cameras that watch streets and parks, public transport, stadiums and shopping areas. With nearly 5 million cameras, one camera for every 14 people, Britain has more surveillance cameras than anywhere else in Europe. So, who's watching? The police certainly. There is nothing a criminal can say when the crime he has committed has been caught on camera. For example, in 2009, 95% of Scotland Yard murder cases used video surveillance as evidence. But even when criminals are not actually caught on video, just seeing a video camera can make an area safer. For this reason, some people put up signs that say video surveillance is in operation, even where there are no video cameras. Video surveillance has also been used to save lives. One day in France, 19-year-old Jean Ponce Leroy was swimming in a public swimming pool. While he was underwater, he lost consciousness. Lifeguards who were watching the pool didn't realize what was happening. Leroy sank slowly and quietly to the bottom of the pool. Without help, he would have died in four minutes. Although no lifeguard saw Leroy's drowning, 12 large machine eyes under the water noticed it. Nine months earlier, a surveillance system called Poseidon had been put in the pool. Poseidon can understand when swimmers are not moving normally and it sets off an alarm for the lifeguard. 
Just 16 seconds late, after Poseidon noticed that Leroy was sinking, the lifeguard pulled him from the pool. Poseidon had saved his life. Although it is useful for fighting crime, many people are still concerned about public surveillance. Norman Siegel, an American lawyer, says that there has been a huge increase in video cameras in public places, but there hasn't been a lot of discussion about the advantages and disadvantages. He believes that people should vote to show if they agree or disagree with public surveillance. Whether you agree with it or not, the fact is that we live in a world where we are surrounded by surveillance. After reading, go to this game and answer the question. So this is the second task. So you can play the game on Kahoot. So you can scan this QR code and then you can play the game related to the passage that you read just now. Now we are going to task 2. It is D. Now complete the exam task. Remember to check your answers carefully when you have finished. Look at the sentences below about surveillance. Read the text to decide if, if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Write T for true and F for false. 1. The author refers to the book 1984 to recommend we read it. Number 2. In 1984, the government knows everything about uh, that everyone does. Number 3. Each surveillance camera in Britain can watch 14 people. Number 4. Britain has fewer surveillance cameras than France. Number 5. There are surveillance cameras at sports events in Britain. Number 6. Criminals say nothing when they are caught by the police. 7. British police have used surveillance cameras to find killers. Number 8. A sign on the house about video cameras might not be true. Number 9. The Poseidon system has been working in the pool for less than a year. Number 10. Norman Siegel is concerned about nobody wants to work. So let's look at the answers. Answers. 1 is false. 2 is, let's look at the false. The author refers to the book 1984 to recommend we read it. So it is false. Number 2, in 1984, the government knows everything that everyone does, so it is true. Number 3, each surveillance camera in Britain can watch 14 people, so the answer is false. British has fewer surveillance cameras than France, the answer is false. There are surveillance cameras at sports events in Britain, so number 5 is true. Number 6, criminals say nothing when they are caught by the police. So the answer is false. Number seven, British police have used surveillance cameras to find killers. Number seven is true. Number eight, a sign on the house about video cameras might not be true. So the answer is true. The Poseidon system has been working in the pool for less than a year. So the answer is true. Norman Seagull is concerned about uh, because nobody wants to work. So the answer is false. Now we are doing task 3, it is E. Find the meaning of the red words below in text, in the text. Then circle the correct words in the sentences. Number 1, there are two options here. When there are many police officers on the street, it can prevent or commit crime. So the answer is prevent. Number 2, can you predict or remind what will happen in 5 years? So the answer will be predict. Number three, the police must catch or control the fans at the football team. So the answer will be control. Number four, public or people transport is very expensive in some cities. So the answer is public. Number five, she threw the stick into the river and it drowned, sank to the bottom. So the answer is sank. Number six. Dad put in or put up a car alarm so that no one could steal his taxi. So the answer will be put in. So these are the answers. Okay. For task 4, 
uh, we are doing the conversation so let's look at the useful expressions for example for deciding you can use phrases like okay so let's decide right let's make a decision do we think the best one is so do we agree that is the best one so to sum up in the end we think because so let's look at the example on the uh, left side this is the example of the conversation so you can use this sample to practice your dialogue with your friend this is another lesson for speaking imagine that your school wants to buy new equipment for their media center talk together about the different things they could buy now decide which one would be the best for the students so buying new equipment you have laptop headphone camera tablet and also television so task 3 time for you to practice speaking read the question and upload a video of you talking about the topic so this is the you can scan the QR code here and then you can uh, record your answer in flip grid that's all uh, we have reached the end of the lesson for today and thank you very much for watching this lesson i hope to see you in another lesson on english language that's all i'm signing off i'm madam gun your teacher bye bye